Hello and welcome to this week's gadget show, Web TV, on the subject of robots. Now, robots have fallen traditionally into two categories, humanoid and non-humanoid. Non-humanoid robots quietly go about their business, things like keyhole surgery, building car bodies, without causing much public impression. But humanoid robots, they cause a stir wherever they go. When the opportunity came up to meet one of the best known and most advanced humanoid robots in the world, Honda's Asimo, I had to keep an open mind. Hello. Hello, John. How are you? Oh, very well, thank you. Hmm. Now, there are about 40 Asimos in the world, and this isn't quite the latest model, which can uh, run round in circles at five kilometres an hour and go in a straight line at six kilometres an hour. But it is very well travelled. It's gone around Europe, Africa and the Middle East, meeting lots of presidents and royalty, so I actually feel quite honoured to meet it. The Honda have gone through about ten prototype stages before building their first Asimo, and one thing that's really crucial to get right is the sense of balance. Um, the centre of gravity of Asimo is very important, and there are about six-way sensors in his hands and in his feet, constantly getting that centre of gravity right. If he detects he's about to uh, fall forwards, he increases his uh, rate of progress to throw that centre of gravity back a bit. And if he feels as though he's uh, falling backwards, he digs his toes in a bit harder. The result of all this is that it can do things like climb stairs and actually some of the most advanced versions can push trolleys and do all sorts of stuff like that you'd never expect. Now, its actual size is very important, sort of halfway between a child and a human, so it's uh, not too big to be intimidating but at the same time it's big enough to do things like open doors, do the washing up, operate a computer, something like that. Of course, that's all quite a long way off yet. Honda stress that they're only 20 years into their uh, robot development and they've got at least another 15 years to go. But they hope that one day Asimos will be doing that sort of thing because their long-term goal is to make a robot that can help human beings, they stress. But for the moment, its functions are marketing to show off Honda's technical prowess and inspiration to inspire the next generation of children and students to become engineers. Matsumo actually is rather inspiring. Hard and sceptic that I am, this thing really does have a personality. I'm Asimo, and you've been watching Gadget Show on TV.